Hello and welcome. My name is Xiao Ping Song. Most people call me XP, and it's great to have you here. In this course, we will journey into the world of geospatial data. These are data that we interact with in our daily lives. For instance, when you look at Google Maps and plan your route, or when you look for a new home and consider how near it is to your workplace, to schools, and other amenities, or when you go for a holiday and decide which landmarks to visit. All these activities involve us asking questions that relate to the location, orientation, or movement of things in space. This course will equip you with the skills to analyze, manipulate, and visualize spatial data using powerful software within the open source ecosystem. Specifically, we'll be using the R programming language, which has grown to be incredibly versatile and widely used for geospatial analysis. So, let's dive into this course and have a look at what we'll be learning. In week one, we'll cover the fundamentals of R programming. Perhaps you're someone who's new to coding. Most online courses will have you work in a predetermined environment through your web browser. Well, in this course, you'll learn to set up the computing environment on your own computer following best practices. You'll code alongside me, step by step, working on very practical examples. And rather than working on the usual data science problems, we will be looking at spatial problems that we can explore visually in week two. In this week, we'll delve into the world of Geographical Information Systems, or GIS. We will learn all about spatial data and how to represent and manipulate them in various ways. We will also create maps and visuals that are interactive and ready to be published on the web or in your documents. Let's say that you already have some coding background, but you want to include a spatial component in your work. The materials covered this week will help you explore these new possibilities for your business, research, and projects. Finally, in week three, we will jump into practical applications of geospatial analysis. We'll apply the techniques we've learned to real-world problems in environmental monitoring and population demography. This section will be especially interesting for geospatial or GIS professionals working in fields like urban planning, landscape architecture, transportation, or logistics. Perhaps you've heard about the wide selection of geospatial tools in R and want to explore the open source ecosystem. This week is your gateway to developing automated data processing workflows with scripts and templates that you can readily apply to your own work. So, I hope you're as excited as I am to join me on this learning journey. Remember, you can speed up or slow down the video playback to learn at your own pace. I look forward to seeing you in class.